Hello everyone, my name is Kuldeep Singh Rathod and welcome in Gatewala platform. As you guys know, whenever any important updates and informations are available, we will try to provide you as soon as possible on Gatewala platform. So guys, lots of students are aware about the ADPAY commission, but how it impacts to engineers so that a particular things we are going to analyze in this particular video. So guys, there are two different type of opportunities as you aware, uh, like uh, uh, through the Gate scorecard, uh, direct job part. So there is one directly pure government job like the RDO scientist, ISRO scientist and uh, like other government IB and all uh, cabinet secretary scientists and all and through UPSC engineering services also you will get a lots of government departments and job if we talk about the other opportunity like PSU opportunities the hair itself you will also get a PSU job which is like a uh, government have a control but they like some series outsource also so guys if we talk about the other uh, opportunities then a hair like CPSC is considered uh, like uh, PRC is considered uh, uh, if you talk about the first opportunities like through the direct government job then pay commission is considered so both we are going to discuss currently government take a bigger decision and you uh, observe the like uh, term of preferences uh, like uh, uh, commissions by the uh, uh, cabinet minister recently you observe the multiple different type of news so lots of students want to know like sir how much salary will increase so if you talk about there are different different basic pay like uh, in a government job if you are joining a level 10 group job like engineering services through the engineering services or through the uh, ISRO scientist DRDO scientist and all then that time you will get a 56,100 to 160,000 salary slab where 56,100 is your like uh, basic pay other than this you will also get DHR and lots of other allowances and be benefits and also so like your gro gross involvement around the like 90,000 to 1 lakh 10,000 something but guys now what is happening uh, going to happen like they are uh, going to uh, like uh, re uh, rechange the salaries because the uh, seventh pay commission is already uh, going to the end and the eighth pay committee pay commission will going to implement in upcoming one two years so guys if we talk about here uh, one fitment uh, one factor is considered that is called fitment factor and fitment factor is thing where they calculate over the infl inflations all the important things like how uh, the things are changed and how the life is now costly so accordingly the salary is modified uh, because uh, the government salary will also need to modify otherwise the people uh, the talents and intellectual will see more in a private sector so that is problematic for the government department so that's why they are keep reviving the salary already this uh, like seven time the salary uh, revive but now the eight pay commission is also going to implement the fitment factor is the factor where they calculate how much uh, percentage or like how much um, uh, multiplication of previous basic pay they are need to do for an example currently the news about 2.28 to 2.86 something fitment factor based on the calculations of the past uh, things change so if like 2.86 will happen then for an example when students are uh, joining one job and here uh, he is getting only 18,000 currently per month for a basic pay then he is able to get a 51,480 for an example those students who are joining UPSC engineering services ISRO scientist DRDO scientist currently they are getting a basic pay of, uh, pay of 56,100 but now they are able to uh, get after like this fitment factor uh, calculation all they will able to get 166,000 something so definitely 150,000 something is the basic pay rather than this HRA and all DA will definitely uh, like an, uh, is a yearly uh, basis but uh, the HRA and other answers they get so they will get able to get 2 lakh 15,000 2 lakh 20,000 gross emolument salary so definitely this is the golden opportunity for the uh, government job aspirant like this is the very positive news 7th uh, pay commission the fitment factor is 2.57 so 8th uh, 6th pay commission 1.86 accordingly uh, the salary will also change so guys projected fitment factor is 2.28 to 2.86 as per the discussion of intellectual actuals and media reports and all currently the uh, pay commissions related discussions are going on and cabinet approved the term of reference rather than this you can also uh, like uh, example PSUs what is going what uh, changes is going to happen so guys PSUs uh, the pay commission will uh, not work PSU the PRC is work like pay revision committee so last year last time if you observe the seventh pay commission implementation in a uh, year of 2016 and 2017 the PRC will also come so similarly we can observe if the like eight pay commission come then definitely government the uh, people will uh, choose less to the go like PSUs uh, for the same job role because the salary slab is almost same currently so uh, definitely they also need to uh, release the fourth PRC so if the third PRC you can also change the slave uh, like the slab is changed for an example previously two grade candidate getting 20,600 to 46,000 but now they are getting 50,000 to 1 lakh 60,000 so this salary slab is also going to change where basic pay is 50,000 even 40,000 60,000 generally the uh, go uh, get 
without get jobs for PSU come in these three slabs. So uh, definitely this slab is also going to change when the fourth PRC will come. So definitely we are uh, we discussed lots of things about the ATP commissions and I hope so you are able to get a lots of clarity. What is your opinion as a student? Mention in the comment section. Rest you can join Kuldeep sir underscore PW Telegram channel where we will discuss lots of other things. Thank you so much. We will meet in another video. Till then, good. Take care.